Oh, we have some news you can use. Oh, we have a terrible Reggie Pizza Man! <laughs> OB1 plays? Yes, right. What's up? All oh, right. OB1 plays. going on everybody how are y'all doing we have some dope 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 nintendo switch news items for this video but before we get started give the video a huge gigantic thumbs up like 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 the video let's get right to the news whoa this first news item came out of nowhere an all new Monster Hunter game has been leaked. Now the image you see is Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak, the DLC on the Switch, but this all new Monster Hunter game is said to be named Monster Hunter Paradise. And so um, um, another Monster Hunter game is titled Monster Hunter Paradise. Um, it's saying that the game was discovered through Discord, uh, which has seemingly partnered with Capcom for promotional in-game codes and was found by surprised data miners. And so, data miners discovered this all-new game, Monster Hunter Paradise. Now, for Switch fans, <laughs> right now, the only platforms discovered so far is for Xbox and PlayStation consoles. Now, I'm hoping Capcom doesn't do another Monster Hunter World where they just make a game for the super powerful consoles and neglect the Switch. Knowing how great Monster Hunter Rise sold, it's hard to, um, to turn an eye to it, but with the rumors heating up of a brand new Switch, a Switch Pro more powerful Switch, maybe, and I'm thinking with, it's gonna be the same with a lot of these third party games. Um, we're not gonna get any Switch announcements until the Pro is officially announced. And then you're going to start seeing what games will also be coming out for that new hardware. But in the meantime, and again, this is early. This is all that data miners found. This game very well could still be coming on out on the base model Switch. This is Monster Hunter Rise. Monster Hunter Rise looks beautiful and runs on the Switch. So anything is possible. But all new Monster Hunter game, Monster Hunter Paradise has been leaked speaking of leaks <laughs> this next leak is crazy bro oh my goodness not only has xenoblade chronicles 3 leaked on the internet um stores have been selling the game early but apparently <laughs> if you have a steam deck <laughs> you can play the game now i've seen images on the internet of people holding up their Steam Deck with Xenoblade Chronicles 3 running on it. Of course, illegally. Um, <laughs> there ain't no way in the world Nintendo sanctioning this. Uh, a, a game that's designed for their uh, handheld console. Not even out yet, but it's play being played on another handheld device. It's That's just straight <laughs> illegal bootlegging stuff. But it's happening. It's happening. Xenoblade Chronicles 3 is right now playable on the Steam Deck before its release on the Nintendo Switch. And that's primarily because the game has leaked online already. Um, retailers have broken street co street dates. And when that happens, um, hackers get their hands on the game and they can do all kinds of stuff, upload it to the internet, which is the wild, wild west right now. And so <laughs> I'm a good guy. Of course, I'm gonna wait until the game launches on the switch in the meantime i will be playing that live a live 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 i don't know how you say the game but that game is fire right now um i'm going to be playing that for this next week until xenoblade chronicles 3 launch and then that's going to be my game of the month we're going to be on that game heavy 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 but the game is now playable on nintendo's competing console which is crazy the next news item and this is great news for kirby and the forgotten land this is big 
Kirby and the Forgotten Land is now the most successful Kirby game of all time in the United Kingdom. In the United Kingdom. And so, this is the best-selling Kirby game ever in the UK, which is crazy, 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 but not surprising. The Switch software, not just that the hardware is selling all kinds of records. When it's all said and done, mark my words, the Switch is going to be Nintendo's best-selling console, probably the best-selling console ever. I see it eclipsing the PlayStation 2. But, not just the hardware, it's the software all kinds of franchises are getting records broken. Is Metroid Dread like the best-selling Metroid game ever already on the, um, not just on the Switch, but ever? I, it, there's other franchises where the Switch have broken all kinds of sales because no more handheld and home competing. They're all merged into one console. Nintendo's focusing all their efforts on one um, piece of hardware and it's paying dividends even in the hardware sales. So good stuff for Kirby and the Frog Forgotten Lands. I did beat this game, dope game from beginning to end, a 3D Kirby game, and so well-deserved, well-deserved, well-deserved. All right, the next news item. If you are playing that Switch Sports Boing, get ready for a free content update coming out next week. That's right, Nintendo of America has tweeted, get a kick out of this on Je July 26th, a free update for Switch Sports adds new features like the ability to use the leg strap accessory in 4-on-4 four four and 1-on-1 one -one soccer matches and new volleyball moves and more. So the game is getting a content update. The game is surprisingly good. The online works real good actually. I, I hadn't experienced any lag in the time that I have been playing it online. And so it's good to see Nintendo's um, giving us those content updates similar. Uh, Mario Strikers, we just finally got Daisy, Shy Guy, and a new stadium. So, Nintendo's, this has been what Nintendo's been doing recently, um, especially with sports titles, releasing their games and then just adding content for free. At least it's for free uh, in the following months and weeks to come. So, if you're on that Switch Sports, which surprising a lot of people are, will this game get this, have the same uh, repeated success as Wii Sports? I don't think so, uh, but. And I actually don't want it to because then people just buy the Switch and just buy it for a, a, a Switch sports machine. I'm glad to see that other software is also selling on the Switch. And the last piece of news item that I have, not really a news item, just my opinion piece. Live a Live, Live Alive is out. I'm two days into the game. I've already completed uh, the wrestling chapter and I'm almost at the end of the um, Shinobi chapter. And I have to say... If you are an old school JRPG fan, this game is right up your alley. Phenomenal, phenomenal game. I love the art style, uh, the gameplay. I tell you, man, if more effort was put into this game when it originally launched back on the Super Nintendo, this game never came over in the States. This game could have been in the same class as um, Chrono Trigger. Chrono Trigger is hailed as one of the best JRPGs of all time. This game is that good, and I'm hearing after you beat all the chapters, their story's going to merge, which is what, what was missing from Octopath Traveler. Can't wait, can't wait as I um, continue to play this game. I will be playing this game to the end, beating this game. Fantastic, fantastic, fantastic game. So, if you're looking for something to do, to play while you're waiting for Xenoblade, and you're a JRPG fan, definitely, definitely, definitely recommend a Live a Live. If, I, if it wasn't good, I'll tell you guys the game is garbage, and don't buy it but it's a good game. All right, dudes, those are all the news items for this video. What do you guys think about everything we talked about? Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All thanks Nintendo. We out. Boy. This channel that I'm about to throw out there for you guys reminds me of me back when I had like 4,000, 5,000 subscribers, man. And um, he's probably going to lose when I do this, but hey, man, I gotta say, my boy Ob1, my boy Ob1, man, that nigga is my nigga right there. He reminds me exactly of me when I was doing this smaller level. His channel, when I look at it, it's such a nostalgia trip, and he has a really cool audience too, man. If you could show this nigga some love too, that'd be awesome. I don't shout people out unless I like them a lot, a lot. I'm picky with that.
dumb. Anyways, my boy Obi One, your boy Obi One. Hey man, I got you right here, my boy. Get that man a little bit of a look, man. He reminds me of me when I was smaller. You want to take a look in the past, my boy? This is the way you do it. I got you, Jedi Obi Master, the right Jedi Obi Master. Obi <laughs> <laughs> I got you, man. You're playing two towns. Thank you. I got Obi you, homie. Dedicating a workout set, to you, my boy. Let's go. Guys. <laughs> 26, 27, 28! <laughs> he said hey, no, dad! <laughs>